Uh, now, he also said that he witnessed all kinds of things uh, in and around the craft. He said that he actually witnessed an ET on more than one occasion. And he said, it's nothing like you would see in films with big eyes and smiley faces. Uh, and I said, well, what did this uh, being look like? And he said, it looked like a devil. And he also said that they would rip you apart. That's, that was what he said. And he said that he did get a, a view of inside this particular landed UFO and he said that there was all kinds in there and he implied that there was human body parts in there. I asked him about the statement in Derek Goff's notes that, that they witnessed between 30 and 40 mutilated human beings. He confirmed that. He confirmed that, you know, that the, 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 there's a lot of cases. He, he, was, he was saying, oh, films are all good enough about UFOs and, and ETs and all of this. He said, but when you get involved in it for reality, in reality, it's a completely different thing. And the other thing he said was, he says this statement that aliens are friendly that he's obviously heard through watching media and whatnot, he says, he was no way. And I said to him, well, how long do you think this sort of activity is being going on for? And without, without flinching, he said, since before we, we were here. And I said, is it go still going on now? Absolutely. The largest recovery of bodies was in Australia, a case where 24 bodies had been left. Injuries are the same as animal mutilation type injuries. He said that internal organs would be removed and also brains. He seemed to think that anything connected with the nervous system is what they would take. He did not see a lot of blood on the corpses. They usually choose remote, out-of-the-way places to carry out human mutilations. They knew where to go and where to take from, where the people would not be missed for a long time. Bodies included people and children. He said they were incredibly quick. They could move 60 metres in a split second. He said they are not friendly and you would not approach one. He saw two of them wearing what looked like a wetsuit or a flight suit. He said you could not approach them on your own. You needed cover because they were so quick. He said he witnessed three distinct types of ETs on these missions. He stated that in four or five of these cases there were craft debris and they were able to see what had been on board the craft. This included human and animal body parts.